Good morning, everyone. I'm here in Kenai. It's 5 a.m. Right here at Kenai. Same spot last year. First time, 2021, fishing here in Kenai. I heard there's lots of reds, and there's a few silvers here and there. The limit is six. Let's go do some fishing. So I apologize. It's still very dark right now. It's gonna get bright sooner here in a bit. This is the same spot we were fishing last year. And uh, it's very easy to access. Quick two minute walk from the parking lot. And we're gonna fish right here, baby. Make sure we're not next to the trees and stuff. This is a good spot right here. I like this. Still right here. 511. I heard there's a lot of fish. Let's see what how long it takes, man. I'm excited, man. I don't get to come out here often. And when I do come out here often, it's a blast. <clears throat> oh, oh, just had one. Just had one. It wasn't focusing. All right, guys, there's lots of fish in here, I think. It's gonna be a good day. Excited to bring you guys out here on the Kenai River. Give us about another uh, 30 minutes and it's gonna be nice and bright. Kenai is a beautiful river, man. This is probably my last trip out here. My one and only trip. I don't, I don't get the time to come out here often. So we're gonna make the best out of it. I wonder if I'm too uh, close. I wonder if I should back up a little bit. Whatever I'm trying my a new spot. I like to test out the different length. I'll shoot right in front of me. If I'm not getting nothing, I'll go start shooting farther. And just kind of get a feel where all the fish might be. They might be like right in front of us. Or they might be like a little bit farther out. So it really depends. Oh, this guy got one. This guy to my right got one. I was just gonna go over there. All right. He got one. We're using a three aught hook. Size three, uh, got some Matsi hook with just a bead on the end of it. All right, he got us, he got one already. My leader's about five feet long this time. Made it a bit longer. Let's so try something else, try something new. Step back a little bit and see if, if, uh, if I get any difference. But they might be just right in front of us and, and I'm shooting out too far. Yeah, they could just be right in front of us and I don't know. I'm not using polarized glass right now, it's too dark. We're also using uh, four split shots right now. <coughs> Kenai River is a pretty fast river. So we're using four split shots, which is about good because I can feel my, uh, I can feel my leader hitting the bottom. That's what you want to hit. Fish on guys, fish on, fish on. First fish, uh, 522. Is it in the mouth? I think it's in the mouth. Oh yeah, it's in the mouth. First fish. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Oh man, here's our first fish guys. Oh, it's gonna be hard to land over here. It's a lot of trees, a lot of trees. Oh man. First fish. Bring it in, bring it in. I brought my fish whacker this time too, so I can whack it up. Oh man, this one's a nice one. Oh yeah. This section here is kind of hard to land the fish. I got it, I got it. I'm gonna land it right over here. Come on, baby. Thank, thank you, thank you. First one for the year. Oh my God, this is a big one. Holy smoke. Thank you. Yep, good thing I brought my fish walker. I didn't bring you my fish whacker last year, man. It was. Uh, you gotta find a rock. Gotta have a rock, buddy. Wow. This is unbelievable, guys. This is a big salmon. Look at that size. Not sure if you guys can see it, but man, I'll show you guys later. We gotta get back fishing, man. There's lots of fish in here. There's lots of fish in here. Oh man, that's good, Nutty. Nutty knew catches his first. 
like this. All right, this setup is nice. Yeah, that hook went right into the mouth. I wasn't even like a, I just let it slowly let it drift. So first fish within 15 minutes. So I did step about six feet to my left, uh, changed my spot just a little bit. And uh, what did you know? Right here, we got it right here. You definitely want to have a fish whacker because this section at Kenai here, there's not a lot of freaking place to land like what I had. So you got to have a fish whacker to whack it out real quick. So it don't go flying everywhere. Beautiful, man. The reds are big, big this year. Nice and big. That one didn't even fight much because it was right in the mouth. If I would have snagged that one like on the tail or on the belly, it would have been a good fighter. I think the fish aren't really that far out there. I think I'm way too far out. So I'm going to step back just a little bit, about five feet in front of me. This is a nine foot rod here. Nine foot rod with about maybe a four foot leader. So I'm doing about a total by be uh, maybe maybe 15 feet out. So I'm not a uh, professional fisherman. I'm not a die-hard fisherman, so I'm not the best. <laughs> but I was watching some more videos on how to floss. And uh, I was watching more videos on how to floss and just learning other people's technique. And I've learned a few tricks, you know. You know, at the end of your at the end of your right here, just slowly let it bring it out and you'll get less foul hooks. And uh, that's what I want. I don't want a lot of foul hooks. I want to get them in the mouth. And uh, that's what happened on the, my first fish right here. I slowly let my hook roll out and it just landed right into the mouth. So that's what I want right there, you know. Because you guys know back then last year, I was getting so many foul hooks. It's, it was fun, but it's not fun at the same time because you don't want to foul hook the fish. You want to get them in the right spot. So flossing here, this technique is all about trying to get your hook into their mouth. Because when the fish are swimming up, they're constantly opening their mouth just like when you're talking. So when the fishers are swimming up, they're constantly opening their mouth. And the whole point of flossing is basically you're trying to floss your hook right into their mouth. It's only once in a while that they'll try to hit your hook, but usually they'll do that because they're pissed off. Okay, fish number two, here we go, guys. I just lost one. It looks like they're hanging out right here at the end of this little current, right here. Maybe I'm shooting out way too far. Yeah, the main current's right here, and it slows down right here in front of us, right here. And I think that's that might be where they're hanging out at. So we'll try it one more time right here. I wasn't setting the hook properly. It's a little eight weight rod here, very super fun and flexible. Come on, man! I want to get the second fish on camera for y'all. I want to try to get it on camera for you guys at least the uh, the hook setup. Setting up, set, set your hook. One thing that's also nice about the Kenai River, you don't have to mess with freaking pinks. There's no chums, no pink salmon, no humpy salmon, it's like Ship Creek. So every fish that you get right here, it's a guaranteed red or a silver right now. Silvers are running too, but it's all guaranteed red. Nope, no chances of these humpies. This river is probably too fast for the humpies, man. Oh, there you go, fish off, fish off, fish off, oh, fish off. Wow, he was fast. Holy smoke. Oh, wow. He just tore my hook up, guys. He tore my hook off. That's crazy. All right, guys. Set up a new hook. Set up a new hook. Hurry up. Got to put a new line on, guys. Oh, my God. You guys saw how fast that was? He was a fighter. All right, guys. We got a new leader on, guys. He's got a low fast out here, man. You got to have a new leader ready to rock and roll. I told you guys about having your leaders ready to rock and roll, and that's what you got to do. I have plenty of leaders rock and roll ready to roll. So whenever I break a hook, I just cut my old leader off and slap a new one on. Wow, this guy, oh, we got one, we got one. See, just like that, oh my gosh. I wasn't ready for that one. Holy smoke, they're in there. They're in there, guys. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that one. Oh my gosh, these bad boys are in there, man. They're ready to play. I know where they are now. They're right in this little end of the current right here. Wow. Those two caught me off guard. Okay, I think I know, where the, I know where the spot is. They're not in the main current. They're just right at the end of the current right here. Basically like three feet away from me. Four or five, four or five feet away from me. So we're just gonna let it ride out. Ride out. Right over here, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, 
Oh, there it is, right there. See that? Right there, right there, right there. Fish on, fish on, fish on, guys. Right in the mouth. Right in the mouth. Oh my gosh, I don't. I was I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that one. Oh shoot! This is a big one. All right, no. Third, second fish. Gotta make sure you have a good drag, guys. A good drag. Wow, he is strong. He is strong. Oh, wow, he is strong. This is a big boy. Wow. Just gotta slowly fight it, slowly fight it. It's a good hook. It's a good hook on him. I don't wanna get caught in this wood on Oh man, he is a big boy. Oh. Oh my gosh, these guys are big out here. These guys are big. Holy smoke, they are big out here. I want to get it over here, but I gotta be careful. I don't want to snap it out. <sighs> Land it right over here. I gotta bring the weight back over here. Way over here. Way over here. Way over here. Whoa, they're so big. These guys are so big. They weren't this big last year. Yeah, no, they not really. And I think the males are just now coming in. <coughs> so it's, wow. That's really nice. Oh, that's nice. great. Holy smoke. Guys, two big hogs. I just hooked two big hogs. I am so stoked right now. They're both the same size. Wow. All right, so we found the honey hole right here. This is a good honey hole, and they're big too. Now they knew he's gonna work his magic charm. Wow, this is this is so worth it, man. Oh, oh there we go. We got another one. See, it's right here. Oh, I wasn't focusing that one. They're right here, guys. Right here. See that right there? Oh, again. I'm way too close. They're literally, they're literally right in front of us, and uh, we don't even know that. And the nice thing is that there's not a lot of people out here. Yeah, they're right in front of us right here. I just lost two. This is definitely worth it, man. Compared to Ship Creek where you gotta search and hunt and you gotta mess with the, the damn humpies too. This is way worth the drive. This is why I tell you guys, I like to fish Russian River and Kenai because this is the reason why. You don't have to hunt for them. They're right here, you just gotta get them. I just felt two of them. The males are usually bigger than the females. They're just right there, right there, right there, right there. I got it, got it. Third one, baby. Third one. Yep, we got it. Oh, it's a baby one. It's a baby one. It's a little baby. I don't know what these are right here. These are like little dollies or something. Yeah, we don't want that one, guys. We'll let you out. We'll let you go. Yeah, I don't know what this is right here. Is a... Sorry for that guy. That's like a little baby salmon. Baby Salmon, don't want that one. He's a fighter too. Right in this pocket here, guys. Going for three, guys, going for three. Hope you guys are having a good time with me. I know you guys are at home right now. Wherever you guys are, right there, fish on. Oh. oh my gosh. They're right in this little stash. Right there, oh, damn. I can feel the hook, I can feel the hook going to their mouth. I'm just not setting at the right time. So I can feel the hook going into their mouth. They're all just still right here. Right there, see that? See that right there, see? Oh, fish off, see that? All right, we're gonna get it this time. We're gonna get it. Put more weights on it, my weights came off. It's okay guys, there's not a lot of people right now, so there's, not, there's no combat fishing. I just need to like, I just need to relax. I'm just too hyped up right now. That's how I am, man. I had this little Tourette's ADD. I get just too, I get too hyper. I get excited for this stuff, especially when I'm sharing it with you guys. I'm just so excited. That's good though, you know. This is part of what's this is what calms me down out here. It's 
slowly let it drag see what happened i want to let i want the hook to do its job i don't want to try to get them i want the hook to do this job i want to see if i can land it right in there floss them out real quick they're right here in this little calm water wow this is a good day to fish man mondays nobody's out here fish on fish on oh it came off wow so let us floss into their mouth baby let it floss into their mouth Sometimes you want to just kind of step back a little bit, step up a little bit, and uh, just try changing some position. One step to, there we go, one step can make a difference. There we go, right there. Oh, that one's a snag. Up, oh, off we go. Yep, I don't want that one. Right on the dors dorsal fin. He's still in there. He's still mad in there, man. These reds, they're mad right now, man. They're angry. This is their angry season. They're like, hey, I'm trying to get out there and breathe right now. You humans keep messing with me. Fun fish, man. These guys are so fun to play with. And they're powerful right now, man. The last two that I fought earlier, the two that I got right now, man, they were good fighters. I could have fought with them longer if I wanted to, but I didn't want to risk it. Land them as fast as I can. Yeah, when you're fishing for silk, uh, reds on an eight-way rod here, it is heck of a fun, guys. I used to do a uh, casting rod, and now I'm on fly rod. Never going back. There you go, right there, right there, right there. Oh, that's on dorsal fin too. Looks like a snag. Is it a snag? We don't want a snag. Yep, right on the dorsal fin. Wow, he's a fighter. I want to see if it can unhook, unhook itself. I don't want to bring it out. Almost at the mouth. Almost at the mouth, guys. We almost, almost had it at the mouth. Just... Wow, this guy's a hog. He's a big one. He's a big one too. That's the same guy, I bet. All right, that was a nice one. He's lucky. We'll get him again next time. Oh, there it is, right there. Got him again. Oh, another one. Oh, set your drag, new. Set your drag. Whoa, this one's a fighter. This one's a fighter. It's not on the mouth this time. Yeah, if you don't get them on the mouth, they're gonna take you away. Oh, this one's a fighter. Oh, it's off. Yeah, I don't want that one. Yeah, guys, if you don't get them on the mouth and you get them on the tail, they're gonna fight you really good, man. So just be ready for that. Oh, whew. Got me out of breath. This reel is amazing, though. This uh, Behemoth reel is such an amazing reel. It has such a good, strong drag. Highly recommend it for the price point. Whew. That's a good fighter. There we go, another one. Oh, all right, we're off. I know where they're at now. They're right in here, see that? Right there. Set the hook. Oh. Jeez, nutty. We're setting the hook wrong. We're in the wrong position. We're in the wrong position. Man. I'm not facing that right. They're right in here. Holy smoke. <coughs> all right, we got this, guys. It's going to be a good morning. They're all in here. First one hour into this fishing, we got two already. Lost a few. Oh, just lost one again. There. They're right here. All right, I know the magic now. All right. All right, all right, guys. Third fish going for third. Going for third. Going for third, guys. 
a lot of people are going way down there. I don't know why. Usually everybody's always like right in the middle right here. God dang it, they lost it again, man. All right, I gotta step back, man. I'm stepping back and pulling it right here. They're not that far out. I, I keep telling myself they're right here, but I don't focus. I just gotta watch the trees behind me. There's trees behind me, so. Fish on, fish on. Surf fish, 6, 6 a.m. This one's in the mouth, in the mouth. They're a fish, guys. Check that out. Wow, right in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. That's this is what this is what I was getting last year. These guys were the size I was getting last year. They're beautiful. They are beautiful this year. I'm so excited to share this, this with you guys too. I know a lot of you guys can't come out here right now, and. Uh, this is why I like making these videos out here for you guys. Oh, there's some blood on my stuff here. Let me wash all these blood. Yeah, three is usually the regular limit, but then they, uh, but the fishing game they have they up the size this year. Usually when they get the quota, they up the size. Oh, there you go, right there. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, fish off, fish off. Every time I talk about something, three is usually the limit, but then this year. Uh, whenever they get the quota once they get enough fish that reaches their section they want they up it to six so six per day six in position no six per day 12 in procession oh right there oh jeez. Uh, see i just lost it again it's going to their mouth i'm just it's not setting it up right it's like right here i'm not i'm not setting the hook properly right right when it ends you guys aren't giving me crap about this a bit, but yeah, I lost so many fish already. Yeah, right when it gets to the end right here, it, it catches them, but I'm not setting it properly. It's uh, 6 a.m. right now though, 6 a.m. We start at what, 5, 5.30ish? And uh, we got three already. There's a uh, beautiful young, beautiful uh, older couple on my right hand side, husband and wife. And uh, they were here too. They're catching some too. I think they caught two. Or three. I think they got they got two so far. But it's good to see people out here. Oh, she got one. All right, look at that. She got one. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. You guys know what I said, man. I love it when everyone's catching fish, man. I don't like to be the only guy catching fish and all my fishing partners next to me not catching anything. I like it when I'm catching. I like it when they're catching. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Everyone catches the fish. That's what it's all about. Now that's a nice one right there. Yep. Oh, there we go. Ooh, just had one. Jeez, they're they're super ag aggressive, man. They are aggressive, man. It's like they're almost hitting my hook just to mess with me. Oh, my my alarm. My phone alarm. I need to turn it off in a bit here. I was gonna wake up at 6 a.m. <coughs> to start fishing, but then when I was at the parking lot, I saw a bunch of people coming in already, and I'm like, man, if I don't move out now, I'm not gonna get a spot. So I started fishing around 5:30, and uh, there wasn't that many people to be honest. There's like maybe 20, 30 people out here on the river, which is a very, which is considered a small amount. Oh, there it is, right there. See that? I told you guys. I told you guys. Four fish. Four fish. It's in the mouth. Oh yeah. We found the hole guys. I found the sweet hole right here. Alright. This guy's good. This guy's good. Four fish. Right over here, right over here.
Oh, lost it. Hook broke. It's all good. Damn, my hook are snapping. These guys are snapping my hook for some reason. Oh man, it's all good, it's all good. Reload new, we'll reload. This, this is our third hook. It's good, to have, it's good to have fast reload, man. You gotta have fast reload. So that line broke right when I got to the shore there. It's all good, no worries. That fish probably don't want me to leave yet. Have your reloads ready, guys. I just felt one right there. They're right here, man. I know where they're at now. Yeah, have your leaders ready so you can just tie it to your swivel right when this breaks off. And uh, that's how you that's how you are uh, rehook real quick. I know where they're at, man. They're right here, right at this calm area. It's okay, guys. You lose some you lose some fish sometimes, and uh, that just gives you a reason to stay longer. There you go, right there. Oh, that's a snag in the billy. Shoot, I don't want that. Is that a snag? It's a snag. Yep, it's a snag. I don't want that one. Oh, I hate when I snag them. Snag, I don't want you. Come here, come here. Come here, baby. I don't want to break you. I don't want to break you, man. I don't want you to break my lines, too. Yep, right on the building. Wow, that's a big guy. All right, all right. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that to you. No hard feeling, all right? I'll tell your buddy that I'm here. Fish on. Oh, fish off. Shoot. Damn, they're good. These guys are good. Good fighters. They were a good fighter this morning. Oh, I just felt one. Shoot. I'm trying to fill them right now. I want to see them, if I, see if I can fill and get them right on the hook. Oh, right there, I just felt one again. Yeah, I want to get them, but I want to get them in the mouth. I don't like it when I foul hook them. It's not very fun. I can feel my weights hitting the box. There, there it is, right there, see? I can feel my... Oh, see, it's off again. I couldn't set it in time. Shoot. So that one was in the mouth. But yeah, so I can feel my weights hitting the rock. There it is right there. See, oh, it's off again. Focus, Nutty, focus. You're too hyped up right now. Right there, see? Just felt it. So they're right at this end right here. Right there, see that? Right there, right there. Oh my gosh. These guys are so good. I swear, how the heck are they untying themselves? Oh my gosh, just fill one again. Jeez, these guys are good, man. They are good. I, I gotta give these guys prop, man. They, they are good at fighting my little hook right here. I know I'm doing something wrong. That's why I'm not setting it properly. So I wanna see what you guys think I'm doing wrong. Maybe my leader is set up differently. Reposition. Right there, official. Oh my God, see, I told you guys, man. Fish oh. on, right there. Right there. That's in the mouth. Oh, maybe not in the mouth. He's a fast jumper. Is it in the mouth? That's not in the mouth. It's it's fighting way too much. Oh. Jeez, buddy. Yeah, that's right in the dorsal fin. We gotta let that one go. It's a nice size too. Very nice size. Oh, don't go to the trees. Oh man, they're nice this year. They are beautiful. Uh, 
they are nice this year. They are nice size. Fish on. Fish on. This one's in the mouth. Go for it. Right over here, come on. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I should be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check the hook again. No worries, guys. Oh, right there again, right there, right there. Come back, baby, come back. Come on. Right here. Uh, that looks like a snag. Snag, let it go. Put one more weights on here. I keep losing weights right here. Oh man, this is fun. This is fun. Whew. Two fish back to back, man. Got me, got me breaking a sweat out here. So I'm using four weights right now, guys. Four split shots. Let's go. Come on. You guys want it? You guys want to play? Let's go. There, there you go. First one. Oh, fish off. All right. That was a warm up, guys. It's time to get serious now. First hour, we can play around. Second hour, time to get serious. We're on to get our, we're on to get our four fish. Lost two already. Two good ones that uh, we almost landed, but didn't land it. Built one right there. Oh, these reds are good, man. They are good fighters. I gotta give them respect for that. Right there, see that fish off? Yes, yes. Oh, fish off. God dang it. Oh my gosh. But that one, I felt it right in the mouth. I felt that one going in. Something's wrong with my setup, man. Something's either wrong with my leader setup or my technique. Oh. Because I'm losing way too many. Right over here, right over here. Right there, see? Oh my gosh. Right here, man. I can feel it. I I can feel it hitting their mouth. Just letting it floss into their mouth. I'm just trying to do it the right way. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it right here. Oh. I couldn't land it because uh, I didn't have any more room to walk back and if I could have, I couldn't bring it up more. I had to let the fish, I was trying to let the fish swim into the land, that little land area right there. But it is what it is. 6.37 a.m. More people are coming onto the river. But uh, fishing is slow right now. Slow for the last 15 minutes. Had to switch my uh, camera out. And usually when it slows down, you gotta wait another 30 minutes or so and it'll start picking back up. So no worries, no fears. We got all day, baby. False fish. False fish. Oh man, look at that sunrise, guys. Beautiful sunrise on the Kenai. Love it. Lost one right there. This gentleman got one in front of me right here. It's right in my, uh, my honey hose right here. Oh, there it go. Oh, just got one, lost one. See, what happened when I talk too much, sorry. Vlogging and talking. It's all good, guys. We're out here to have fun, man. It's okay. We lose some fish. Don't get mad at me. No hard feelings. We're out here to have a good time. Lots of good time out here. Beautiful Alaska nature. 
Like I said, if you're on the river, it's better than being at home. I might have to layer down a little bit. My sweater here is getting me kind of hot. It was really windy up on the parking lot when I was coming up. And now it's calming down. It's much more uh, warmer down here. No wind down here too. No wind, no mosquitoes out here. It's nice and calm. Lots of folks catching fish down there too, down the river. Still a little bit too dark. Can't really see the water. Can't really see through the water or anything. It's not like Ship Creek. Oh yeah, I see some of them in there. Oh, there it is right there. See? Got one. I think that's in the mouth. Is it in the mouth? Nope. Yeah, that's not in the mouth. Foul hook. Yeah, they're not deep in there. They're like right in front of me. Lost one weight though. I'm gonna put another weight on after this cast here. Hopefully I don't get one. Ship Creek, I never lose any split shots, but out here I'm losing a lot of them. More rocks, I guess. Just lost one again, shoot. Right there, again. Pulling too early, I think. Lost two in a row. Oh, yeah. There you go, fish on. Oh, well, maybe not. A little rock right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fish on. Fish on. Ah, it's a snag. Shoot. Shoot, lost the hook. Hook down. These hooks are crazy, man. New hook, guys. Third hook, fourth hook. Fourth hook, this is a better hook. Fish on, fish on, guys. Fish on. Ah, uh, it's a snag, I think. Oh, it's in the mouth. It's in the mouth. Is it in the mouth? Oh, uh, it's in the mouth. We'll take this one. All right, this is a baby one, but we'll keep it, man. We will keep it. We will keep this one. Very nice one. Make sure you bleed it out right on the gills. Oh, this lady got one too, yes. Rock and roll for these ladies. She's, she's awesome, man. Oh man, this sunrise is so beautiful. Clear blue sky today in Kenai. That's the Donna here. Clear blue sky. Couldn't ask for a better day, man. Thankful, blessful to be out here. Oh, just lost one. Fish off, wow. That guy was a fast one. Fast little booger. That was a fast one. Fish on guys, fish on. Is it in the mouth? Hopefully it's in the mouth. Hopefully it's in the mouth. Let me see here. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Oh, it's in the mouth. If I get it, then one more. I've been losing a few of them. This guy's a big one though. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Ah, oh, yeah. Fish on. 
We gotta fight this one. It's in the mouth. It's in the mouth. Oh, it's off. Good fight, good fight. Two loss in the mouth, or two loss already within uh, two minutes here. Good fight, good fight. They're coming up. 7.20 a.m. guys, 7.20. Some fishes are coming up right now. I see, I saw some of them in there. They're not really way up in this side. Come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. All right. Fifth fish, guys. Wow. Look at that one. Fifth fish. Look at that guy. All right, and uh, just for the record, it's only 7.36 a.m. I was using yarn earlier and uh, didn't get anything on that. And then I swapped over to just using my one bead. So when we started early this morning, all my fish I was catching on just one salmon egg bead, the plastic bead. And uh, I used yarn and it didn't work. And then I went back to the beads and it started working. I think the males are striking the beads. So that's a good thing to know, man. Last year I was using yarn too, and uh, I'm gonna stop using yarn from now on. I only gonna just use the hook and then one little salmon bead, and that's the way to do it, I think. Last fish, guys, last fish. We gotta get one more. Our sixth fish is usually the easiest or the hardest one. We'll see how that goes. Before the camera was rolling, I uh, tickled one of them and they he jumped up about two feet up in the air. <laughs> Tickle his belly or something, probably. Didn't hook him, just tickle him. It's been a fun trip so far, guys. Uh, I left Anchorage at midnight. Left Anchorage at midnight, and then I got here at 3 a.m. And then I slept for about one hour, and then started fishing. And when I'm done, I'm just gonna start driving back home. It was really uh, sketchy last night because <coughs> it was raining in Anchorage. And it didn't stop raining until it almost got to like a uh, Cooper Landing. But overall, it was a nice drive. Oh, there we go, got one. Oh, off. Fish off, fish off, fish off. That looked like a small one, so we're going for the big one, guys. We're going for one more big one. About the size of our first or second one. So they're not that far in, guys. You guys can see the shore. About 10 feet in only. There you go, right there. Right there, it's in the mouth. Oh, oh. So that was a scary one. Let's try to get this one before 8 a.m. If we can get this one in, uh, we got 13 minutes. If we can get this one in 13 minutes, it'd be nice. This guy just lost one right here. He's got about three or four already. He's doing really good too. Everyone's doing good right here. Everyone's catching, man. That's a good thing. I got a buddy that's coming from Anchorage. He left around 5 a.m., so he should be here in the next few hours. But by the time he gets here, I'll probably be, I'll probably be done already. So we'll see what happens. I'll have to text him a bit. Um, he loves to do fishing, and he has his own YouTube channel. And we never fished before, so I told him to come out here too, and we're going to make a collaboration video. But I'm pretty much almost done right now. So by the time he gets out here, we'll see what happens. He's a hard time fisherman, long time fisherman too. Now, if I wanted to, I could stay till midnight and after midnight, I can get six more, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I got, if I get, once I get my six fish right here, that's plenty for me. This lady just got one, but then she keep losing it too, just like me. Oh, we got one, we got one. It's a snag, I think. I think it's a snag. Could be our sixth fish. Could be our sixth fish. Is it? Is it our sixth fish? Is it in the mouth? Is it in the mouth? I think it's in the mouth. 
It's in the mouth, guys. It's in the mouth. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, yeah. That was a nice size, too, man. Nice and big one. Working on our six, guys. Working on the six. Everyone's getting their limit out here. It's good. One fish just jumped right there. I think I tickled that one again. There we go. Six fish, guys. Six fish. Yep. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's in the mouth. It's in the mouth. It looked like a nice one. It's definitely a big one. Got one, got one, got one. I got one. Oh, this is like this guy's is a big one. This is a big one. It's a big one. Is it in the mouth? I think it's in the belly. It's in the belly. It's a snag. I'll let it go. Ah. Oh. Ah, it's in the belly. Let it go, let it go. We don't want this one. This is a baby one. It's a nice size, actually. Decent size for sure, but... Not a good one. Yeah, when they fight that strong, they're usually not in the mouth. But when they're in the mouth, when they're in the mouth, you can just guide them where you want them to go. Did I lost my hook. Oh snap! I lost my hook. Six fish, guys. Six fish. We're gonna get this one. This one's in the mouth. It's my last one. If I land it. going the right way it's coming the right way Take your time. come on baby come on There we go, guys. Last six fish, guys. Yeah, you got to get in there. Yep. You get in there, all right? Oh, yeah. You Thank you. So the thing is that they're not that deep in, or they're not that far in. No, they're closer Yeah, in, they're, they're closer in. Yeah. Okay. So right where that water starts to calm down. Oh, man. Six fish, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a beautiful one, man. Look at that. We are done for the day. Get out real quick. Look at that, guys. And it's 804, guys. 804. We just limit out. Look at that beautiful red. Man. That's gorgeous. Beautiful guys. We're gonna go ahead and gut these out. I'm not gonna flay them. I'm just gonna gut them and then we're gonna take them whole home Beautiful beautiful Oh, yeah <coughs> Your man? Yeah. <laughs> oh right now that just happened Oh yikes All right, guys, we are finished. Kenai run, limited out in, uh, in three hours, guys, in three hours. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day. Man, what a great day, guys. 
and my my battery's almost out. I've been filming so much videos that there we go, six fish, guys, right there. It's freaking heavy. Look at that. Let's put it right here for y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This whole time I've been talking to the camera, no. so I hope you guys weren't thinking that I'm weird or something. No, I can't hear. Oh yeah. I didn't think you were weird, but I just thought, well, maybe you know, a lot of people no. talk to themselves. <laughs> no, I, I I always film when I fish and I put it on YouTube, so I, I just I just talk on the camera to myself. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a nice. Fish. Yeah, the first two were really nice. Way up around 5 a.m., 5:30 a.m. We started. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, the time is 8.24 a.m., guys. We uh, limited out in about two and a half hours, two hours roughly. So this is the Kenai River Center. And uh, they're on the uh, Funny River Road. And right across, we call this the airport. This is a little small airport strip. And you can just come out here. This is all free parking. All of this is free parking. <laughs> Usually on the weekends, it's really busy. But today, today's a Monday. And it's just been really slow out here. A little nice old school uh, Land Cruiser. But here we are with our limit. Six beautiful fish. And uh, they are some big size, man. Really big size. Most of them are big size, except for about two of them. <coughs> two of those guys are pretty small. But we're going to take these guys home. I got them gutted up already. So I gutted them up and threw all the guts away. But I didn't flay them because I forgot my knife. So I, used, uh, I had to borrow one of the knife from one of the lady that was next to me. She let me borrow her pocket knife and then I got them out. And then uh, most likely I'm just going to share them with the family. I have plenty of fish ready at home. Uh, share them with the families, give them to some friends and folks that couldn't make it out here. But it's been a really fun trip, man. I brought my bike and I was going to go ride my bike if I limited it out later on. But then uh, I probably won't be riding any bikes in Kenai here. So we're going to go ahead and pack it up, put it in the freezer or cooler. I'm not going to ice it up. It's only a three hour drive to Anchorage, back to Anchorage. So the fish will be fine. Um, if you're doing more than a, if it's a very hot day and it's a very long drive, you definitely want to ice them up. But for me, it should be fine. And uh, I'm going to put the gears away. And uh, this is what I'm using, guys. Just a basic eight weight rod. And uh, my behemoth, behemoth, I can't really pronounce it. This is a seven eight, seven eight right here. And uh, just with some fly rod. And just a regular hook out here. Doing really, really good, guys. Basic leader with just a regular bead right here and a hook. And uh, man, we did an amazing job out here. You can see the leader starts from here and go all the way down here. So you want your leader about five feet long. And uh, that's it for today's trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys got any questions, any comments, any uh, advice, let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys next time on our next trip. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back to Kenai this year anymore. I might do one more trip out to Seward when the Silvers are running for some snacking. But that's going to be it for me. And if I do come back out here, we'll definitely have some more fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.